Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. I hope you guys are doing great. And uh, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, some of my process uh, when I paint. And this particular painting I painted recently. And I just thought uh, I should share some of the technique uh, which might be really helpful for you. In fact, I'm just talking about uh, what are the process I follow, some of the key moment uh, uh, which will help you when you paint right so I hope you're going to enjoy this and you're going to learn this I would request you to please subscribe this channel if you have uh, not done yet and please click on the bell icon right so let's move ahead and uh, this is my sketch uh, of uh, the Varanasi Ghat uh, which I am very much inspired with and most of the time I'm painting this particular subject and uh, you can see uh, this is a panoramic view of this uh, you know this place uh, um, Varanasi Ghat a very old structure and I wanted to bring uh, I wanted to depict uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, the the atmosphere uh, you know there and I wanted to reflect the same kind of uh, you know uh, ambience in my painting and if you are a beginner or an intermediate uh, student uh, uh, and you wanted to learn and improve in this particular area in your particular area. So uh, Please check my website. I will be sending you a free lesson uh, Which will help you to learn and understand this uh, medium more so link is there and down below you can just Check that out after this uh, video, right? So I'm I hope you'll enjoy this so when I start my painting, the first thing uh, I do is I start with a, uh, you know, giving a personality, and that personality comes uh, from your first layer, the first wash you do. So as you can see here, I wanted to depict uh, uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, the variation into the sky uh, with the help of ultramarine blue mixing with uh, uh, you know uh, the burnt sienna having a very lighter tint. And it goes all over the place and uh, the significance part of this process is uh, your you have a lot of water you know when when you do your first layer you have a lot of water in your brush and whichever the color you are you are applying ultimately when it get dry you'll see very lighter version of it so don't surprise when your first layer your first wash get dry and you see very light color in it don't get surprised especially many beginners uh, you know well, they face such kind of a challenge and they say uh, you know uh, this is not what I want right so now you see like and you know, how lighter it is how lighter it is it will be even more lighter if you're applying a little a little lighter color right but yeah uh, when you go second layer and this is what uh, I do when I go second layer where I try to keep your first layer visible as much as possible and that's the that's the moment that's the key moment uh, you can have because uh, you have done your first layer with a purpose so I use uh, I used to leverage uh, your I mean the first layer in a such a way that it should reflect its personality it's a uh, it's actual the value having a proper light seeds etc etc you know uh, and that's the smart use of uh, you know when you go second layer now you can see how I'm using the proper the amount of depth and uh, leaving your first layer visible somewhere tiny tiny first layer visible to reflect its value uh, it gives a value right uh, it has some meaning it's I'm not just doing just sake of <laughs> just putting some color because it's it gives you on a complete uh, uh, you know the complete feel of that place with the use of proper depth and light now now you can see here this is the uh, you know this is a very old structure and I wanted to depict with uh, 
this particular color which I have used the burnt sienna and uh, mixed with uh, a little bit of uh, uh, ultramarine blue that gives an, a, a, a very you know a rustic uh, feel of it and that's my uh, my one of the favorite uh, color <laughs> throughout uh, you know whenever I, I paint most of the things most of the time I use this uh, right but uh, there are also uh, opportunity for you to detail out some of the things though I'm not uh, interested to do you know very high quality of detailing of it it's kind of a uh, impression I just wanted to build that uh, yes this particular structure has some detail there is some architecture values in it and I just wanted to depict to that uh, through this painting uh, that's the that's the whole intent right uh, in your second layer especially in second layer everything you do <laughs> you know uh, you do it in the second layer itself and that's what that's exactly that's exactly I'm doing I'm I most of the time I use uh, the the effective use of the water because uh, it should say that uh, you know the water is the the critical part here and uh, using the using using it smartly can can do a wonder in your painting right and that's exactly i i am doing in this one i'm just putting a lot of water somewhere and just sprinkling sometime you know uh, i'm sorry i just missed that part in this particular uh, you know video but uh, you can just see here right side I just uh, drop a lot of uh, water, a bit of water, so that gives a very beautiful texture in it, uh, and it also justify the place, uh, the the architecture it has. It's a lot, uh, almost like a hundred year old structure, and I just wanted to you know justify to that, right? So this is the uh, a, uh, uh, you know opportunity for you to just scratch it. A little bit of it I do a lot uh, you know whenever I get an opportunity to do that and uh, even if you go second layer and you see like uh, some of the values are still not came out I don't I don't sigh away <laughs> to do it uh, over on it just what I am doing here because uh, I wanted to give a lot more depth and I just sprinkle the water in it and you see a beautiful a very beautiful texture and and I haven't done anything it creates by itself the water has done its work uh, you know and paper has uh, uh, you know also uh, responsible for it <laughs> right so then now you see like uh, things are coming out uh, and this is uh, this is the time when you start enjoying the process these detailing uh, though it's not detail water but you have uh, what I've done is I've just given up just left some the first layer visible and uh, giving a some directional color in it and that's the that's the beauty of it and that's the moment uh, which I really enjoy as I move forward to work on a, another dome I I try to bring a variation uh, variation of the color so it compose and and also brings a a very beautiful harmony into your painting and that's the reason I'm using this ultramarine blue and uh, I've also tried to use uh, you know uh, the burn sienna in it uh, so you'll have a consistent color view though you have used ultramarine blue as a primary here but uh, at the same time it also you your paint your, your color will not be in a suddenly look like outside of this entire composition I don't know how much you understood this <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> what I want to say is uh, whichever the color you are using uh, for the harmony into the color uh, into the painting uh, making sure that it should not look out of the contact it should not suddenly strike out so that's the goal here so now you can see here the ultramarine blue is a primary becoming a more primary color here so this process is entirely to bringing the harmony uh, because uh, ultramarine blue is not just uh, uh, overpower your entire painting right 
one certain color should not until you really wanted to make that and this is not my intent my intent is to make uh, use a proper harmony and the harmony comes with a, a lighter version of the color and uh, the bringing some bit of uh, you know uh, the various into the color what you see here in this painting so that gives you a little flavor uh, it brings a flavor it brings the interest into your painting and that's exactly I'm trying to do here with the use of uh, right hand side you see the burn sienna is prominent and when it goes to another dome it's a little uh, use of uh, ultramarine blue and uh, this is the beautiful uh, the texture what I have now I was talking about uh, the bringing the variation now you see uh, the use of this burnt sienna I, I'm just trying to make it more lighter in it because the this structure which is just next to this building which is a little far away and that's the reason I'm using the lighter color there so now I'm getting uh, depth into my painting now things the other things so which is far away from this center the focal area of this painting and that's going to be on a more lighter and lighter and then vanishing line and that's that's kind of a perspective we wanted to build here when uh, it's mostly about uh, how your vanish where the your vanishing point are and uh, what is the use of the color in in, in that particular uh, in that particular areas so that that matters a lot and that's the reason uh, now you can see here I'm using a very lighter color here and uh, not giving a too much of uh, uh, you know the first layer visible uh, until really required now you see this is my painting for the for the other other structure in this card uh, is already done now you can you see how I have used the lighter color of the other structure which is not very detailed out but it's kind of an impression <laughs> so that's what I I just wanted to uh, bring in here um, now other things which uh, which I need to bring in here in this uh, particular the main building is that uh, there is entrance and since uh, the source of the light is coming from the left hand side uh, the prominency of this entire thing and the seeds everything has to follow in the same direction there is a smart intelligent use of uh, the light and depth here um, and that's ex that's exactly uh, I'm doing in this particular time right and this gives me the complete understanding of uh, how it should be if it is in a stair where the light should follow where you know fall and uh, what all the other elements should also be part of that right so if you have ever been to Varnasi Ghat uh, which is a most beautiful spiritual place um, uh, in India um, I've been many time and uh, I really inspired from this particular place and that's the reason that's the I, I paint this place many times um, so you see a lot of boats there which takes you to a lot of uh, uh, ghats there there's a lot lot many places to visit a lot of temple there which you can just see and you can feel the panoramic panoramic view of this entire ghats right uh, and that's a beautiful moment um, so I'm just making that I'm bringing that moment uh, these these boats which is there uh, parked in just uh, uh, you know next to the ghat so that's the story of this uh, this particular painting and when it comes to paint uh, water uh, this is the moment I really enjoy because uh, I really enjoy when when I see uh, the reflection of the object uh, uh, you know in the water and that's just mesmerizing atmosphere um, especially if I paint a subject like this Varanasi where we have uh, river Ganges it's, a, it's an amazing moment uh, and I can <laughs> just recalling my memory 
uh, when I when I go there, uh, whenever I, I I be there in in physically and I paint that space, man, please, uh, I can just uh, I can just visualize in uh, within myself the, how the entire uh, you know the atmosphere looks like. Um, I can just feel that moment. And that's a beautiful thing. It always inspires me to paint. So this is the place I can say this is my source of inspiration to create art. Um, uh, I, and I remember when I was started watercolor, this is the place where I have started. <laughs> and I and it never uh, it never stopped uh, after that. So yeah, I mean this is the uh, the overall. Uh, you know the painting uh, well, I got uh, and uh, as I said the reflection the water is something I really enjoy so one thing I'm making sure that when when I paint uh, you know the watercolor uh, water reflection uh, it should uh, it should capture the moment uh, what exists right uh, what I mean is uh, if you have a building like uh, if you have that structure you'll have to see what all the the key elements uh, which can be part of the reflection right not necessarily that uh, you have to capture every detail of it but uh, you can just see here I'm just playing with uh, the variation of the color the things which is very far as a panoramic view I'm just using a lighter version of this entire uh, thing and some of the elements which is uh, closer to your eyes where you want to give more emphasis um, you can just uh, use the darker pigment how I'm using here so that also strikes out uh, your subject uh, it tells the story completes the story uh, and it also tells that uh, there is a agility in the water there is a lot of movement in the water and uh, through the certain brush strokes like this uh, you'll be able to 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 tell your story to complete your story that uh, yes there is a movement there is a lot of things going uh, you know uh, flo floating around uh, in the in the water and uh, this is basically you can do in, in several techniques so like you know sprinkling the water as i said in earlier and the important part is whatever you're doing everything should be in a zigzag like uh, you can make it a straight line because the water is it is water it's a movement there is a movement in the water there is there is agility and uh, because of that uh, the when you when you when you do any any sort of uh, work make sure that it should capture that uh, you know um, and here what well, just completing this story, there is a lot of bird, you know, just flying there and just above this structure. Um, and uh, that adds a value. There is a, a very interesting value all over the place using such kind of, uh, you know, um, such kind of uh, elements. Uh, um, and uh, when, when you see here, um, painting a bird, I'm just using, uh, uh, you know, the for the wing there is a variation in the color actually there is a lighter version of it and there is a darker and, and something like this and uh, and at the end i'm just concluding this painting i hope uh, you got something out of this uh, and uh, you got to know my process uh, what's going on uh, you know what all the things you have to to follow I mean I know I mean, this is just a glimpse of it because I can't show you the entire thing uh, because it's a very lengthier painting you <laughs> it will be go three four hours so it's better uh, to show you some of the process which I you know uh, generally I, I follow in my painting so thank you so much uh, everyone I, I, I hope you got uh, uh, what I wanted to tell here so you can also visit my website to learn more about my artwork what I am doing and uh, many other stuff 
and uh, thank you so much uh, everyone um, especially all the watercolor lover who want to learn and grow and I believe that uh, my watercolor lesson is helping you so thank you so much and I'll be coming with a new video very soon